The fucking ignorant tropes about immigration that get repeated like whatever Luke Bryan's newest song is on country radio need to fucking stop. Eh, the crisis at the border fucking bullshit. Just like, just like fucking stop. A little Ricky here in the comments of one of my videos went through fucking all of them, so I figured why not address them. First, I want to point out that this whole exchange started because I responded that it was tragic when somebody said that a mom and two children drowned as a result of Greg Abbott's crimes against humanity. And Ricky Bobby here is like, oh, you look like you have a lot of space. Why don't you come let him live with you because that had anything to fucking do with the comment but this is always a gotcha for fucking morons who understand nothing about immigration it's not like you've got immigrants sleeping on your fucking couch in texas either so shut the fuck up with that stupid argument and then he fucking doubles down on it with this bullshit like oh why don't you let homeless people move in we can't even find shelter for homeless people now you want more people first of all yes absolutely i want more people we need more people in this country we're below where we need to be for population growth to keep replacing the population which is a problem if we want to keep this capitalist health of an economy running and if we want to keep paying for things like all of these old fucker social security checks so you know what yes i absolutely do want more people especially people who are willing to walk thousands of miles and risk their lives and their families' lives for hopefully a better life in our country that's how badly they want to be here in fact you know what i would trade 10 assholes who shrug off a mom and children drowning in a river because they're trying to make it to a better life but we're doing everything we can to make sure that they die before that happens for every one of those people who are willing to take that risk to be here because they're going to be a lot more valuable to our society than you. And then the stupid, stupid, stupid fucking assertion that we can't shelter all of the homeless people. Not only can we shelter all the homeless people, we fucking used to shelter all the homeless people. And it would cost us fucking less than what we do now by letting them suffer on the streets. In fact, it would cost the American taxpayer between 20 and 50% less than we currently spend to just give all of the homeless people supported housing. But you can thank Ronald Reagan for completely defunding the mental health institutions and kicking all of the people out on the street and cutting funding to every single social safety net that keeps people fed and housed. So we have the fucking resources to do it and we're already spending more on our broken system than we would be be on those fucking solutions. And then you try to prove your brick wall of a fucking point by being like, I've got Cuban and Venezuelan friends, and they say there's too many people, so if you can't see it, get the fuck out. Which that bullshit anecdotal statement is uh, even worse than being like, I can't be racist, I've got a black friend. Because not only is it fucking irrelevant what your friend's little feelings are about immigration, how their feelings make you feel justified, but if these supposed friends of yours are real and actually really do think this way, they're even shittier than you are. Because what, they got theirs and fuck everybody else? If your immigrant friends truly believe that we can't let more immigrants into the United States because there's too many people, then why the fuck are they here? Then he blabbered on somewhere in there about, oh, they should they should come here legally. Uh, it's safer and easier. That's utter bullshit. You know, our country almost used to have absolutely no immigration laws. You just showed up, gave them your name, and they let you in. It was super easy. It was basically a 100% chance of coming here legally and starting a new life. But as the immigrants got darker, so did the immigration laws. Now only 1% of immigrants seeking entry into the United States uh, can do so legally. Just to apply for a green card, it costs between $1,200 and $1,800. Just, just the application fee. Half of U.S. citizens couldn't fucking swing that. But some impoverished Central American family who owns nothing but the clothes on their back is supposed to scratch up that kind of dough. And then it can take years or decades for that all to actually get processed. Plus they gotta pay for medical exams and if they want any hope of being successful Successful, especially when they don't know the language or the laws. They should probably have to hire a lawyer. But yeah, why don't they all just bootstrap their way through this impossible process? What are y'all so fucking afraid of? Are you afraid they won't pay taxes? Because undocumented immigrants pay over $11 billion in taxes a year. And guess what? If we just gave them legal residency, they would pay even more. In fact, second generation immigrants contribute more fiscally and economically than any other native born group in the United States. So any burden you can find that first generation immigrants may cause on the United States is more than made up for by their kids. And just to further underscore, bold, italicize the hypocrisy of how bullshit your rhetoric is, Republicans, who are you so vehemently defending on their razor wire buoys and tough talk on immigration, voted against strengthening border security, against increasing border patrol funding by $7.2 billion and adding 300 new border patrol agents. So for all of y'all's bitching about an open border, any holes that you can find in that border only exist because y'all keep voting against filling them. And the people you vote for do that because 
because they know you're dumb enough to not pay attention, and they know that if they actually did anything at all to fix this problem, then they couldn't continuously dupe you into voting for them to fix issues that don't fucking exist or have solutions they refuse to implement. Every single trope about how bad illegal immigrants are, and open borders, and us being overrun is, is fucking bullshit propaganda that is easily debunked at your fucking fingertips on the same fucking device that you're watching this on. And the fact that y'all continue to be willfully ignorant enough to keep falling for it is fucking pathetic. It's gross, it's despicable, and you need to do better. Don't they, Sophie? Yes, they do. They do. They really, really do. Mm-hmm.